The ancient practice of yoga has been proven effective for reducing symptoms in a variety of disorders, including anxiety, depression, and epilepsy. These disorders are all associated with low levels of GABA, and the symptoms can be reduced by substances known to increase GABA system activity. A 2007 pilot study showed that brain levels of GABA was increased by 27% after a 60-minute session of yoga. This study was done on experienced yoga practitioners. The researchers wanted to find out if the changes in GABA levels were specific to yoga or whether they could arise from a walking session with similar intensity. In 2010, they published the study Effects of Yoga versus Walking on Mood, Anxiety and Brain GABA Levels, a randomized controlled MRS study. They showed that Iyengar Yoga, this time practiced by beginners, increased brain GABA levels, whereas walking did not. The yoga group also reported greater improvement in mood and greater decrease in anxiety than the walking group. This indicates that higher brain GABA levels improves mood and decreases anxiety. The yoga group had only been doing yoga for 12 weeks and saw an increase in brain GABA levels by 13%. The experienced yoga practitioners in the first study saw a 27% increase, around twice as much as the beginners. Thus, the effects seemed to increase with experience. For those of you who want to go deeper, here are some more studies and a look at some of the mechanisms that might be responsible for yoga's effect on GABA levels. The parasympathetic nervous system is, said simply, a part of your nervous system that calms and relaxes you. Yoga's effect on GABA levels may be connected with yoga's ability to increase activity in the parasympathetic nervous system. The way yoga does this seems to be in part through stimulating a nerve called the vagus nerve. And it is suggested that vagus nerve stimulation stimulates release of GABA.